Just a couple bad weather fans representing New York Talking all things sports, man what could go wrong? We got Alex who's a fan of the Knicks and Mike of the Nets The yin yang of the tri-state place your bets On the Yankees, Giants, Mets or Jets Yeah you should listen if this sparking your interest If you made a vow to your team don't break it Bad weather fans is the relation, relation, relation. That's right, this is Bad Weather Fans, episode number 159. Mike Paseglia, Alex Benezowitz, NBA All-Star Break Edition. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you can see right now that Alex is just a still shot. That's because Alex and I last week, after the Knicks and Nets played, and yes, the Knicks did defeat the Nets, I know that's true, we went ahead and did a net Nick redraft. What do I mean by that exactly? Let's take all of the Brooklyn Nets and all of the New York Knicks and put the players in a pool, and then we can go ahead and draft our best teams. So we took all of the current Nets, all of the current Knicks, and we did a redraft to see how we could make or what would be the best New York combo basketball team. I should mention as well, this is for a team that's starting to play right now, not in five years from now, not in three years, not looking at contracts, not looking at who is the best value salary. I'm talking about right now. What would make the best team if you had to go out and win today? We're going to have that in a little bit. Again, Alex and I recorded this after the Knicks defeated the Nets. So this does not include that. This is this was recorded before that final game where Mikel Bridges had 45 and the big win for the Nets. And then, of course, the Knicks got the win on the road versus the Atlanta Hawks. Since then, Nate McMillan is now not the head coach of the Atlanta Hawks. So that's coming up in just a couple of seconds with me and Alex. So you'll get the live version of Alex for that i do want to mention from the nba all-star break slam dunk competition jericho sims complete bore fest his dunks were great no personality the problem is with the dunk contest i've been saying this forever um we've seen everything before now there was the the winner here uh that did change everything but i'm just talking about from jericho sims perspective of his dunks you've seen it with vince carter the arm and the elbow the the elbow in the rim thing it was cool then and it's just really tough for Jericho to kind of have that flair and personality that Vince Carter did, he really had no chance from the start. So not surprised at all that there was no personality, no excitement at all with Jericho Sims. And then as far as the all-star break in general and the all-star game, I've been saying this, I didn't watch the game. I wasn't going to waste my time. Uh, Eventually people will start to learn. It doesn't matter. It's boring. It's a game in which the players don't care anymore. Uh, I don't understand why each year people are like, oh, I'm going to give it a shot. I haven't watched it in three or four years. Glad I don't. Uh, I love the NBA. I love basketball, but it's a complete bore fest. So stop trying to come up with answers on how to fix it. Stop trying to come out with ways of, oh, it's just not the same. I myself loved the All-Star game when I was a kid. It was one of my favorite things in the world to watch. Uh, But now I'm an adult. It's boring. And for any other person listening or watching this podcast, Uh, stop trying to convince yourself that it'll be different each year. It's an exhibition with no defense. It's not interesting. They can do anything they want with drafts and they can do anything they want with finding players in different uh, from East and West and merging it all together. It will never make a difference. Not sure why people keep getting surprised by that. But that said, let's do a little Knicks Nets redraft. Again, Alex and I did this after the Nick net game last week. Here it is, everybody. Enjoy. All right, Alex, now time for the draft. Net, Nick, uh, all, this is such an all-star break episode, by the way. Okay, uh, you have a coin. Uh, you want to flip it in the air, I'll call it. Okay. Uh, this is heads. Let okay. me do it like a Super Bowl. This is heads, and this one of you guys is tails, okay? This is the Jerome Betta Super Bowl. Remember, that's what started all this. All right, I'm ready. I said tails. Should I call it when it's in the, I'll call it when it's in the air. No, you should call it before. Now, right, heads, the Jerome Betta heads, 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 okay. heads. It's tails. Fuck. See, look, tails. <laughs> and and we should say, I should mention this. I should defer. No. So this, <laughs> this is how the rules work. It's for this season only. Mm. Right now, what would you do? Uh, not what do you think of the future, not based on contracts, not based on 
you know, where someone will be in three years, just this moment, you need a team to win right now. Who do you take? Right. It's like a fantasy team for this year. Right. For the but rest this of the season, season only. That's the only way I want you to think of it. Net With and the Knicks, Knicks players and Nets. combined. All right. So you're up first. And we don't have to do a snake. I'll go second. You go third. You'll always okay. take one ahead. And then if you have a better team, I'll say it's because you got to draft first. <laughs> So we're not doing snake. We're just doing one me than you. Me. Yeah. Than you. Just are you keeping simpler. track of your team or what are we doing? Oh, uh, you just keep track of your own team. I'm not okay. gonna, you know, do do. I I got go my oh wait, do you have that there? guy? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll good. just keep track of your own team. Um, mm-hmm. We'll go that far. All right. Go okay. ahead. With the first pick. Oh God. Pomp and circumstance. Alex B selects. I can't even say my own thing. Jalen Brunson. All Obviously. right. I think that's the uh, consensus number one. I'm not going to get into a debate on that. And that's yes. don't have Kevin Durant or Kyrie Irving. Uh, <laughs> I'll take second overall, and this is going to annoy Net fans, but if it's for just for right now, taking Julius Randle off your hands. Um, I think the Nets have younger players with the potential to be better. But in this moment, he's an all-star. You know, I hate to say it, but I think it's Julius. Okay, so... Hmm, now we now get interest. Now I think we get more fun. We got, right now, we got the Knicks big two out of the way. Yeah. Next, I got to do it. Don't do it. It's going to be RJ Barrett. Oh God. See, this is. <laughs> it's got to be. It's got to be. Now, nah, now you're making a mistake. Because I don't like Dinwiddie. I don't want him on my team. So I, I don't you, like there's Dinwiddie. other options. Like Mikel Bridges. I know. Oh yeah. Fuck. I mean, okay. I'm not. Well, I'm, I already made the I pick. Think, it's too late now. The pick is already in, so I uh, can't go back. Well, I, I, I yeah, I, I'm going. I'm going to take. Uh, I, I want to have a balanced roster, so I could take Bridges at the, you know, and let him play the small forward position. Uh-huh. Um, so we're, but, yeah, we're doing our starting lineup. Sorry, we yeah, gotta, I mean, like, make sure yeah. you. Have, well, you, you'll have a lineup. It might be unbalanced, yeah. but you got to have one. As my cat's ass has been in this video twice now. <laughs> Leon, get your ass out of the video. Uh, I'm going to take Mikel Bridges. Okay. I'm going to go with some size here. I know uh, Dinwiddie probably is the one for the point position, position mm-hmm. but I want to take Mikel Bridges. Okay. So next, I'm gonna you're going to make me do it. I'm going to take Spencer Dinwiddie with my third pick. We've all fucked up this draft, by the way, but I got Why lucky because I had a spaced out moment, but I'm going to get the player I need. Okay. Nick so Claxton. Nick Claxton, number three. Okay. That's who I should have taken third. I fucked that up. I'm sorry, Net fans. I got too obsessed with with everything Knicks, I was thinking of Knicks. I was thinking maybe mm-hmm. Evan Fournier. I like I, I like my size here right now with Randall, Bridges, and Claxton. You got a big team. You do. You do. So then I have to balance that out. Ben Simmons. And... <laughs> I have to balance that out and take Mitchell Robinson because I can't be stuck without Mitchell Robinson now that you got Claxton. I'll be screwed. You're just going to take Knicks the whole time. I took Dinwiddie. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you say that. You're like, Derek Rose. Yeah. All right, I'm up next. Um, I will go with. Mm, need a bucket. Uh, I'm gonna go with 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 uh, debating between two guys here, but I will go Knicks. Um, I'll go with quickly. Ah, I need a guard. I need a guard. I need someone to run the show. I need a true point guard. You know, I need yeah. someone to run this offense. Well, too bad you don't have Alec Burks, you know, to start over quickly also, you know. All right. You're up. <laughs> okay. Fuck. This is a tough one now. It's getting a little more difficult. Yeah. I got to go what's best for the team. Here's another Nick. No, my heart wants to go with Obi, but my Obi. mind is going to go with Dorian Finney-Smith. Yeah, I think that's the right choice. Yes. I'll go, with, I'll go with Cam Johnson. Okay, so now we're going. Now we're getting deep. Okay, so Cam is gone. Let's see who there's else another, we got. There's another Cam. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. You, you know that other Cam doesn't average uh, fifty points a game. Oh, this is easy now. I gotta go, um, Josh Hart, as my mm, sixth man. I hear you. All right, I'm between so, two. Yep, go for it. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we got our top six now, right? So you have one, two, three, four, I five. Have, oh, I have five. five. You were one so ahead of me. You're one so you do this, your six man, and then we'll recap to remind everybody who we have. Uh, I'm going to go... Um, I'm thinking of balanced roster. I'm trying to win games, not the future. I will select... 
I'll take Seth Curry. Fair. Good six, man. A little scoring okay. off the bench, you know. So what's so what's your top six? So you have your starting lineup is what? So right now I have Randall, Bridges, Claxton, Quickly, Cam Johnson, Seth Curry. Okay. And I have Jalen Brunson, RJ Barrett, Spencer Didwinney, Dorian Finney Smith, Mitchell Robinson, and Josh Hart off the bench. All right. Now how about I get to select first? We'll mix fine. that up for a little yeah, bit. That's fine. After the top six, yes. most important. Um, <laughs> let me look at this garbage Nick roster. Is anybody I want here? Is this Quentin Grimes? He's untradeable. Um, <laughs> um I'm between talk this out loud. I'm between Quentin Grimes right now. And I think from here, Royce O'Neal. Um, or I could go with Cam and get a little scoring point. I'm going to go Cam Thomas. I'm going to mix it up and go Cam Thomas. I like the upside of one game. I think him and Randall are going to have great chemistry. I really like the one-two punch of Thomas and and, and Randall. To me, that's what, what it's all about. I'm taking too many nets. It's okay. It's all right. Uh, all right. Well, then I'm going to have to go. I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to go Obi Toppin with my seventh man. OB, 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 OB. Yes. Um, yes. All right. We got some options here. If I'm looking at them from a net perspective, I like here it's going to be either uh, Royce O'Neal or do I want a little size? Do I need a little size off the bench? Um, I'll go with Hardenstein. Hardenstein. I, I, I'm, I'm going to, you know, he had bigger impact than Royce O'Deal did tonight or excuse me, when they played <laughs> the Nets uh, last week or right? whenever it was. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to need some shooting. So I'm going to go Joe Harris right now. Yeah. Enjoy. Yeah, I, I need it. I just need need somebody who can hit hit the three. That's all. Yeah, I have no, no, no I mean, three-point shooters on my team besides him. So you take him over over uh, Quentin Grimes? Yeah, Quentin Houston is not really Alan Houston as many Knicks fans thought he was. Uh, I'm surprised. Clank. <laughs> Clank. Wow, I, I, I can't believe I'm yeah. getting Royce O'Neal this late. What a steal for me. Royce O'Neal, it is for you. Royce O'Neal, that's the guy I'm taking here late in this wow. draft. Wow, I'm surprised you took him over um uh Quentin Grimes. Well, I got my shooting and I, I don't need another shooter. This team has well, a lot really that we can spread the we have a lot of guys that can spread the floor around Randall, which is my foundational piece. <laughs> Damn it. Your all star. He's your all star. <laughs> no Ben Simmons still on the board. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, let's see. Crazy. Who we got next? Um, Sharp is good. Watanabe, I like. Uh, Watanabe did not play in the net Nick game. Well, he did. He had garbage minutes. You know what uh, I mean. Some BS. This is a tough one now because Quentin Grimes is there, and he's the best player available, I'd say, left. But you also got guys like Jericho Sims, who I, I can use a backup center, but you also have Sharp, who's out there. Sumner is out there. Oh, man. Hmm. Let's see. I'm going to go with Jericho Sims. Let me go Sims. Edmund Sumner. Okay. I'm that guy in those drafts that has the so, next one ready and fast. I got to take Grimes then because it's it's such value this late in the draft. Yeah. Oh, this is this is the steal of the bad weather That's fans draft. The draft. This is yeah, the steal to. of the bad weather fans draft. No doubt about it. Um, Getting slim pickings here is getting a little bit more difficult. I will... I'll take uh I'll take Utah. There's definitely a bias now where I'm like, if I'm gonna go in our bench, it's like I'm not taking the Knicks. I'll take yeah, Utah, Utah Watanabe. Watanabe. Okay. Hmm. All right. So I'm gonna go Dayron Sharp. Just get some extra, you know, guy on the big man on the bench. If he was a Nick, you'd hate him. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, he's not. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> well, I guess that worked out for you. Um, you know, I know this is you're gonna say I'm taking him too early, but I'll take Ben Simmons because okay, just, just who's left. At least there's an upside for Ben to be better than I think everybody else that's left. I think the other guys, his ceiling is a little bit better. That's the third time my cat's ass is in this video. Okay, so you have Ben Simmons. So let's recap. I'll recap mine so we can. Uh, I got Jalen Brunson, RJ Barrett, Din Witty, Dorian Finney Smith, and Mitchell Robinson as my starting five. Josh Hart, Obi Toppin, Joe Harris, Jericho Sims, Quentin Grimes, and Dayron Sharp. Julius Randle, Mikel Bridges, Nick Claxton, uh, Emmanuel Quickly, Cam Johnson, my starting five. Off the bench, we got Curry, Thomas, Hardenstein, Royce O'Neal, Edmund Sumner, Utah Watanabe, and Ben. Simmons, Simmons. And that's Cam Thomas. I think he said Cam Johnson. 
<laughs> um, or is that who Cam, you have? I have Cam Johnson and Cam Thomas. Oh, you have both. Oh, okay, okay. I have both cams. Oh, you do. That's right. See, I, okay, yeah. I didn't see that. Nick okay, so for fuck you. me. All right, I'll let you go first now. Okay. This is tough. Who's left? Hmm. Mm, no okay. one. There's a few people. There's a few good ones. Yeah. I will say a few good ones, but we're at the bottom oh, of the barrel here. Listen. All right. I got to go with my coach on the floor, coach on the bench. I'm going to go with Derek Rose. I like it. I like that pickup. I think that's a sneaky good move. Not sneaky. really. All right. Somebody I'm gets him. hurt. He can pop in, you know? I'll take Patty Mills. Patty Mills. Okay. Now we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. <laughs> All right. How many guys are left? Here's uh, let's left. see. Who's who, here's who's left for the Nets. It's easy for my brain to do that. Uh -huh. Drew Smith, David Duke Jr. Okay. So we got for the Knicks, we have Deuce McBride, uh, Daquan Jeffries, just called out from the G League. Trevor Keels, just called out from the from the G League. Evan Fournier. And that's it, I think. Last, so there's only yeah. two Nets left. So, yeah. So we have Fournier, Keels, Jeffries, and McBride. And the Nets are what? Duke? David Duke and uh, Drew Smith. Okay. So who's up next? Who picked last? I'll then? let you. I, I went. You went last. I'll let, we'll swap it over. You can go okay. again. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, so then I got to take Deuce because he's the best player left. <laughs> Deuce McBride. Yeah, I'll take David Duke Jr. Okay. David Duke Jr., not to be confused with the other David Duke. Um, let's see. Unfortunate name. <laughs> unfortunate, unfortunate name. Yeah, unfortunate. Um, let's see. I mean, I don't know enough at this point, to be honest. Yeah. So I'm going to go take... Trevor Keels just because he went to Duke. <laughs> I'll go Drew Smith because he's on the Nets and not your team. Okay, so Daquan Jeffries just didn't get on the team. Just didn't that? get drafted, man. Yeah, undrafted. Maybe there's always next year's draft. <laughs> we don't need to recap them again. People heard the first two rounds. Uh, okay. who, who do you think wins the? Let's let's hear your starting five. I got Randall McBride. Let's see if. Let me put it this way: Is your starting five better than your current one? Go. So your point guard is quickly right. So you mm -hmm. quickly. I'm a big team. I'm so, a Big team. Read off, read off your starting five from point guard, shooting Quick, guard. One, quickly, two, three, four, five. Cam Johnson, Mikel Bridges, Julius Randle, and Nick Claxton. And I got Brunson, Barrett, Dinwiddie, Dorian Finney-Smith, and Mitchell Robinson. So I Brunson obviously takes the nod at point over yeah. quickly. Well, just overall, do you think your starting five that you had there is now better than your Knicks starting five? Better than the Knicks starting five. Your current lineup. That's you lost one. Randall. Yeah, I lost Randall. I do not think so. No, Better I think you're correct. I do not think so. Because I you don't got think... Claxton. That's a big one right there. I think my lineup. <laughs> I don't think my lineup's better either. Although I do like Randall and Claxton. That intrigues me. Yeah, Randall. I think this. A good I, yeah. I think. Uh, I think. I think both our teams got worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. I think <laughs> it's it's not a not a great matchup. I mean, I think my bench is a little stronger than yours. Well, let me hear. My bench: Josh just Hart, the first Obi five. Josh Hart, Obi Top, and Joe Harris, Jericho Sims, Quentin Grimes, Sharp, Derek Rose, McBride, and Keels. Yeah, Seth, Cam Thomas, Hardenstein, Royce O'Neal, Edmund Sumner. I think you have the better team. Yeah, I do, my bench. Do you yeah. do you have an NBA video game? Currently, no. I don't either. Look, if there's a bad weather fan, I used to do this as a kid. Oh, yeah, next level it, stuff, yeah. but like. NBA we 2K. used to do drafts and then put play put those players into the simulator and like just put them on two random teams and have uh -huh. have them be played by the computer and we would it would decide who had the better draft. So yeah, reach out to us if anybody has some video game where you can do this. I sound so old. If you have the video game where you can put the players, the in console, there, yeah, <laughs> um, I think it'd be cool. We could we could put the lineup in, do one game, or maybe we do a best out of seven series. Yeah. See who wins. Yeah, we would see. Uh, we would definitely see that way. That'd be cool. They used to do that with the Super Bowl, where they would do like a Madden. Who won the Madden matchup? I don't think they do that anymore. Or, yeah. or at least I haven't seen it. Nobody cares anymore. I don't know. There used By to be the so many. The Super Bowl used to be so much cooler, but that's another conversation altogether. You enjoy, the, the whole you enjoy watching? I did. I did. I did. It's, you know, now two weeks later. So it's like whatever. But, uh, you know, I, I do love the Super Bowl, but I think this one had the least amount of buzz, but it was a fantastic game. So, yeah, well, the ending. 
I yeah, mean, the ending, ending was just was anticlimactic. Can I can I read a personal text message exchange from the uh, Super just, Bowl? Listen, you can you can do whatever you want. Yeah. You really, yeah, you really got no choice. But I got to come back to this text. <laughs> it just made me laugh. Yeah. Um, where are we? Here we are. Okay, so this was during this. This is right before the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. Can I find you? What you get to eat for the Super Bowl? Your response: <laughs> Chiefs winning. Bet heads for coin toss. I wrote, that makes no sense. <laughs> you then did not text me back. and Well, you texted me back hours later, but it was something like towards else. the end of the game. Yeah. <laughs> and then I said, you never answered my question. You go, I bet heads for the coin toss. <laughs> See, and I read, I was in the process of placing these bets before the game on, on DraftKings. And I was like, just these fun novelty bets for the Super Bowl. So I had yeah. bet in my head and I heard and I read get as bet. So then I just saw it and I just typed it quick. That's you're like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> then I just gave up. I was like, he either read it wrong or just doesn't care about this meal. It's like, you know, yeah. I'm interested in people's foods. Especially Super yeah. Bowl. It yeah. intrigues me. You're like, I, but I bet heads. Okay. I did do I did do POPO though. I did do POPO, the Peruvian chicken. It was delicious. Was it good. Some fried yuca, delicious. Mm. Avocado salad, very, very good. Oh, that sounds nice. You, you yes. still haven't asked what I had, but I don't care anymore. No, what did know. you have, Mike? I had sushi. Oh, very nice. That's good. Yes. I had a gift nice. card and we took advantage of it. Nice. So. Nice. Okay. Um, all right, well, Bad Weather fans, episode 159, All Star Break Edition. We'll be back at it next week, of course, with the Nets and Knicks, all that good stuff. Yes. Yes. Let's see what happens in the second half of the season. Uh, will the Knicks stay mid and will the Nets become mid, which they are? And we'll see what goes on because, you know, we'll we'll have, you know, you never know because the game is not played on paper, Mike. It is not played on paper. No, my it, Joe announcer closed. Did you like well, my Joe well, announcer? Well, it, it is for us. We just did a draft. We literally just played this on paper. And had we did. Season. We did. We'll tweet these out, too. We'll put it out on social media. Who is a better you, team? Yeah. We'll let you... Uh, you know, savants of your teams decide what's the <laughs> yes. better one. Yes. And we're yes. ending an episode with my cat biting me. This is a well, bad weather fan. See everybody. All right. This has been episode 159 of bad weather fans. Who had the better team? Is it Alex or is it Mike? Is it me? Voice your opinion on Twitter at Nick central. If you want to follow Alex and I'm at Mike delivers pod, we'll put out there our teams. You tell us who had the better squad. Of course, next week we'll be back. Episode 160, second half of the season. Nets and Knicks jockeying for position now. Which teams will finish in the top six? That'll be fun to watch. I mean, I know it's not as exciting for me as a Net fan thinking about a championship and a title, uh, but still a lot to play for for both of these squads as they fight to get into the top six. This has been Bad Weather Fans. Don't forget to find us on Apple and Spotify and watch on YouTube. Follow and subscribe to all these channels. We'll see you next week for episode 160.